Hello. Can I just share with you how validating this uh, lanyard is? It says Nate Nauert Comedian, which uh, every time, I know, I'm never going to take it off. Uh, every time I make a stupid dad joke at home, I'm going to turn to my wife, and, and when she rolls her eyes, sorry, I missed that and say, eh, eh? Anyway. <laughs> She'll love it. Uh, so did you all notice, or have you seen the giant Batman statue around the corner over at AMC? Yeah, yeah, good, good, proper reaction. I, as a lifelong comic book nerd, um, I w am aroused by that statue, actually, to be honest with you. I, uh, I, um, as a kid, that's who I wanted to be. When I grew up, I wanted to grow up to be Batman. And uh, these days, I look in the mirror and realize I have become Commissioner Gordon, which <laughs> wasn't what I was going for, but it just happened. Uh, and can we talk about the good commissioner for a minute? Uh, yeah, I love this. Thank you. Um, the uh, is the is the spotlight really the most efficient means of reaching somebody in an emergency situation? Uh, I feel like my pager would actually be better than that. Like, it, um, how often does Batman show up to like uh, movie premieres and Toyota thons, and he like, swoops down and he's like, "Oh, my bad. I uh, I saw the beacon and I." I <laughs> Honest mistake. I, I love the new RAV4, though. Does it come in black? It does. Um, but even as a kid, uh, there were some tropes about comic books besides that that, that befuddled me a bit. Like, um, have you ever noticed that all of the black comic book characters have to have black in their name for some reason? Like Black Panther, Black Lightning, Black Manta. And I get it. They were trying to be more diverse, and that's great. But um, I feel like where they landed was actually a little bit racist. Like... <laughs> Black Panther is an actual animal, so that makes sense. But um, black lightning isn't a thing, to my knowledge. <laughs> and I feel like when Black Lightning first joined the Super Friends or whoever, he was like, uh, they said, what should we call you? And he said, well, you can call me Lightning, for I have the power of a bolt of lightning. And their PR lady was like, uh, aren't, you, aren't you forgetting something there? Um, <laughs> We, we kind of have a policy here at the Super Friends. And, um, <laughs> would you consider lightning of color? Perhaps. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, but uh, I, I, oh, here we go. I am humbled. What, I'm falling on his... Okay, I am humbled uh, by your warm reception this evening. Um, people, <laughs> it may seem random. People never use that word right, humbled. Uh, it's always when they're getting some sort of accolades, like uh, I stand before you humbled by this incredible honor. Why? Why are you humbled? Uh, that was not our intention when we decided to give you this award. We, we were hoping to lift your spirits up a little bit. But uh, winning an Oscar shouldn't be humbling. Getting slapped in the face at the Oscars. That's humbling. I've seen it. Getting to the front of the line at Trader Joe's and realizing uh, you don't have enough money is humbling. <laughs> That's when you can give your speech. You, you turn to the people in line behind you and say, I stand before you humbled <laughs> to have to put these artichokes back on the shelf. <laughs> getting, uh, getting caught in your zipper is humbling. Yep, yep. Especially if you're a lady, I hear. I don't know. But, uh... So I noticed a lot of you have ordered food tonight, and thank you uh, for your service. Um, no, it's good. I love the food here, actually. Uh, I hope you did, too. But that's not the point. The point is, uh, what are we doing? Why do we, as a society, feel like it makes sense to eat meals together? It's kind of gross. No offense to those of you eating. Um, <laughs> with all the chewing and the slurping and the slopping, and you, you try to have a conversation, and you end up spitting on your friends. <laughs> It's barbaric, and, and to me, it's every bit as intimate and graphic as, uh, as having a bowel movement, really, if you think. And we don't do that together, generally. But, uh, but it, it occurs to me, if society had zigged instead of zagged like thousands of years ago, we might eat in private now, like we should, honestly, and poop as like a communal activity, and yeah. And uh, restaurants would be restrooms, and there'd be like four or six toilets in a circle, and we'd sit down, and, and we'd have fellowship and conversation, and we wouldn't, while well, we did our business, and we wouldn't have to worry about uh, spitting on each other. It'd be nice, and you might, 
you might be walking down the street one day and run into an old friend and he'd say, hey, Nate, long time no see. Hey, I'm about to grab a shit. Did you want, you want to come catch up a little bit? And I'd say, oh, goodness. I just, uh, I took a massive dump at home, but, um, but you know what? What the hell? I'll, I'll uh, keep you company. Maybe have a little, little pee while I'm there. And at some point in the evening, undoubtedly, uh, the waiter will come over with all the rolls of toilet paper and say, uh, could I interest you gentlemen in a, in a refill? And, uh, and you probably say, no, no, it's, everything was excellent, but just the, just the check, please. And uh, I should really sit on the stool for this, but anyway. Uh, and then he would say, uh, are you sure? Because I have to say the Charmin pairs very nicely with the corn that I see you. And that's, that would be humbling, thank you. Um, that's all I've got, thank you, thank you. For, I'm humbled.